94 feet with Texas A&M's Wade Taylor the fourth. So we're starting your locker. What one? Are you clean or dirty? I'm clean. If you can't see, I'm clean. <laughs> I, I like to have a clean locker, not too messy. Like I like my house. All right. What's your favorite thing in your locker? Uh, I would say my shoe collection. I like. I have a lot of shoes, different varieties of of things that I can go with every day. Now, do you have any pets? I do. I have a dog. Uh, me and my roommate. When I first got here, we bought him. His name is Creed. Um, he stays with my other roommate now. So. What kind of dog? He's a pit bull. What's your favorite thing to eat? My favorite thing to eat is pasta, chicken alfredo. I love chicken alfredo. I can eat that almost any day of the week. And what's your nickname? My nickname is Four. Uh, I'm the fourth. Like you said, way to the fourth. So when I got here, coach started calling me Four. So. Nobody calls you Quattro? No, no. My family actually calls me Q uh, <laughs> instead of Quattro, actually. So. Would you rather have a game-winning shot or a game-winning assist? Um, I think it depends on the game. If the game, if I'm high, I would say the game with the shot. But I'm always down for a game with an assist. Now, here you're a binge watcher on Netflix. Yes. What have you watched lately? Uh, I've been watching Vampire Diaries, and I've also been watching a show called Star. It's on Hulu. You ever watch College Game Day? I do, all the time. So who's your favorite commentator on Game Day? Uh, probably Jay Billis. Wade Taylor, the smartest man in the history of basketball. When we come back into Buzz Williams Book Club, Jay Billis looking very studious up there in the Why, office. Why'd they get me a corn cob pipe? <laughs> That's so low class. Welcome to Book Club with Buzz Williams. And Buzz, you've been reading for over a decade a uh, book a week. Why? I just think it's a way for me to learn, a way for me to grow, and hopefully I can translate some of that wisdom to those that are around me and help. What kind of books do you read? Uh, leadership, spiritual, bi a lot of biographies, a lot of things relative to business, uh, very little um, basketball related stuff. If it's about a coach, I'll read it. Where do you find the time with how busy you are as a coach and all the responsibilities you have? In, in truth, Jay, I think it kind of helps calm me down, be productive with my time, not always watching tape. What's one thing you've read in the last year you've been able to use with your team? I, I use a lot. I would say one of the most recent things that I've used with the team is uh, you'll know what you're thinking by what you say. Do you have a book you could recommend to me with a lot of pictures? I have a Dr. Seuss <laughs> books back here that I send to those that are newborns. I could use that. <laughs> book Club with Buzz. Newborns. He's got you figured out. Well, Buzz Williams is a next level thinker, and he's so, he may be the most engaged coach with his team that I've ever been around. He invests a ton of time in his players off the floor. And, you know, Jess Sims talked about how he spends, you know, he talks 25 times a day or so with Wade Taylor the fourth. But he has, he has classes, he teaches classes here at Texas A&M, but he has classes with his team. It's called like Get Better Day, where they'll bring somebody in, teach him how to change a tire, teach him how to do all these different things that are completely unrelated to basketball. And they just have a magnificent culture here at Texas A&M. We talked to him for about 15 minutes yesterday. We didn't talk about basketball at all. Uh, how he has enough time of the day to be a coach and a dad and a voracious reader and, and, and this is mostly because he was blown away by Jess Sims being on our crew. He was in awe of her. And he told us he didn't miss a workout a single day last year. Basketball clinics for special needs children. And you talked about all the letter writing and all the positive messaging. He is very, very much about culture and leadership and being part of a team. He's not just coaching basketball players. He's, he's coaching young people up. He's, he's a true father figure to a lot of these players. Well, and you look at his schedule every day and his calendar, it gave me a headache, the stuff he does every day. Just an incredibly disciplined leader. I would have thought he was a cyborg, except he's got a box of Frosted Flakes in the office <laughs> on the shelf. So <laughs> well, it had that, his picture that, that made me feel a little bit better.